everybody, welcome back. Unboxing time. Mary's here. Hello. And we're here to finally open up the October, November, December, I don't even know, it's been way too long, the Stan Lee box. All right, so this is supposed to be every other month. It feels like it's been much longer than that. I feel like there was a delay on this one or something. Mm. I don't really remember. I don't know. Now, uh, I don't remember what the pricing or any of that is, but if you want to find out, there's a link in the description <laughs> below and it'll get you $5 off your first order. And there's probably some exclusive comics in here and some other cool things. Um, the first few of these were really, really awesome. The last two or three we've gotten have been kind of disappointing. Yeah. So I'm hoping they'll turn that back around because I really want this box to be awesome. It's supposed to be things curated by Stan Lee. Uh, well, no, we were hoping it would be things curated by Stan Lee. Now it's just basically things that have Stan Lee on them. That's what it started turning into, and I'm hoping that's <laughs> what they kind of go back away from. Because, like, the first box had, like, Captain America Q-Figs, and, mm -hmm. you know, and then we get, like, just cool things like that. There was, like, a She-Hulk Jada metal figure, you know, things like that. They were really, really cool. But we'll see. Uh, it looks like they put the spoiler card on top, so let's uh, hide that down here. Yay. And... Boxception, y'all. Oh, no, it's just the comics on top. Okay. We can move that. We'll look at those a little bit later towards the end. I'm just trying to move stuff around so we can actually feel in here. There's a hat. Oh, good. There's another tote bag. There is boxed figures, so that's cool. I'm just going to go ahead and pull the hat. What? Really? Really? So is that another Stan Lee catchphrase? I think so. Yeah, enough said. Um, it seems like a quality hat, but I mean, look, you guys can't even tell from that distance. Yeah. Uh, why would you, can you even, can you at all? Can I catch that in the light? I'm not exactly sure who thought it would be smart to put black lettering on a black hat. And it's not like, it's, it's actually stitched in. You know, it's like quality stitching work. Yeah. That's just weird. <laughs> Velcro back. Thing is, it seemed to me like Nuff said was something that uh, we said back in high school, which was like 20 years ago. Ancient history. <laughs> ancient. We are ancient. Okay, not a promising start for the hopefully recuperating Stan Lee box. I'm really yeah, enjoying I've got this tote bag. Thing. Okay, I'm really enjoying the Stan Lee comic box. Potential, it's a quality tote bag. It is okay, a that's tote bag. okay. It's that's kind of doing like the Hamlet thing, but it's like a red skull, so I mean, that's kind of cool. And again, you know, there are uses for these bags, so I can't complain too much on that one. Let's see, let's see if it has an actual bottom. flat bottom. It looks like it's got a yep, it's flat a, bottom a, bags. Actually, use this as a grocery bag. Well, then, if you need it, you can have it. Flat bottom bags make the world go round. I don't need one just yet, but. All right, well, then I'm going to keep it and I'm okay. going to put stuff in it. All right. And things. I'm going to put stuff and things in it, Lori. Like Nuff said? Yeah, Nuff said. <laughs> I'm going to put stuff and things in there, Lori. Nuff said. I'm trying to make a Walking Dead joke to somebody that doesn't. doesn't <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I can feel under that. There's nothing else on that side of the box. Yay. Is that a pop figure? That might actually be a pop figure. Oh, if it's one of the Stanley cameo things, that would be fantastic. And that might be a Jade of Metal under there. So there's there's potential. There's potential. Let's not do that yet. Let's do okay. let's do some of these because I think those things might actually be really cool. Let's save okay. those for the end. <sighs> Satisfying. <laughs> All right, there's a few in here. It looks like I can pull from this side and be okay. All right. Well, that's the first one. Oh, mighty Thor. Oh, okay, that's that's really really cool. Cause this is the I know, I see that. That's cool. Uh, set, issue seven hundred variant cover, of course. Um, you have you have Stan Lee as Loki, so that's actually I actually really really like that. I find that to be totes adorbs. <laughs> totes adorbs. The kids still say like that, right? I love Stan Lee too. Yeah. That glares, you guys. Yeah. So the thing is, is this gonna Come be the on. thing where it's all the same issue with variant oh, that's stages a, of doneness? That's a good question. I hope not. I hope they stop doing that because it gets a little boring and repetitive. But I think you're right. I had forgotten. So it's this is probably just the pencil and ink version of that same cover. Yeah, this is the ink version. That's what I meant when I said pencil and ink. 
See, I don't like that. Like, I want some variety in here. I think they need to stop doing that. Yeah. But, I don't know. Actually, I don't know. I, I might actually like the uh, colorless version better. Really? Well, at least the Thor part of it is a little bit more striking. Mm. But yeah, I like I like this I like the top in color. I like the bottom <laughs> not. <laughs> so maybe there's a third one in here that's a hybrid of those. Uh, oh yeah, it is my turn. Did I? Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. Oh, there's no art print. We got some uh, Stanley Excelsior stickers. Hey, in yeah. a different color this time. I think those are usually red. Um, that's right. Um, unless it's at the bottom of the box, there's usually like an art print version. I'm like in the box. Yeah, maybe. Okay. My turn. Uh, I don't know. Sure. I don't no, know. No, I pulled that. Okay, fine. So I'll go. Your turn. I'll go. Oh, there's a book. Yeah, I don't feel any art print thing. But we got a book, probably a graphic novel. They usually stick one of those in there. Ooh, nice. Magneto. Magneto Last Days. Now, this is the kind of stuff I want to get in here. And you're like, throw it, you know, I don't mind. They gave me the two comics with the variant covers. Mm -hmm. We get a sweet book. Um, you know, the hat and the bag. All right, all right. Not, ba not bad. Oh, yeah, this isn't like old school. Well, no, this seems to it be... It looks like a collection. I think so. Yeah, it's going to be a bunch of different Magnetos. That's cool, though. I like that. Yeah. Hey, we'll, you know, I'll thumb through here a little bit and show you guys. He spent his life <laughs> trying to save mutant kind. Still, everything dies. Dump, 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 except my love for you. Aww. Okay. Uh, <laughs> show off a little bit of art in here so you guys can get a sense of what we were talking about. Eesh, holding that weird. Do a little of that. A little of that. I want to see a little of that. Yeah, you do. How about this? I know this is what you really came to see. Some of that vintage. Yeah, baby. All right, that's cool. That's a good gift. I feel I like how he's doing sort of the Atlas thing on Oh, yeah, that is what it, yeah, yeah, very cool. And that's like a retail, that's a $16, yeah, $16. I mean, that's like at least 20, 25 bucks in the comics right there, so that's pretty good. I think this at least is going to hit its value as long as these things are cool. Okay. Don't, I would rather save the pop. Uh, okay. If you don't mind. All right, I'll take this other thing. I then. think it's a Jade of Metal. It is a Jade of Metal. Ooh. Ooh. That's like cartoon X-Men. I know, but it's gorgeous because the colors really, really pop. I wonder if yeah. his helmet comes off. That would be so cool. Um, um I don't yeah. think it does. We got Magneto. That is awesome. Okay, this feels like a return to form for the Stan Lee box. This is more what I want from the Stan Lee box, so I am happy. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure whatever the pop is, it's going to be cool. So even if it's something I have or whatever, I, I'm going to call this a win box for me, for sure. Just thinking back on the last couple anyways. Nice. And I like those metal things. I'm trying not to go like buy too many, but I do <clears> like <throat> them. Gotta get hip to it. Mm-hmm. There's a Lady Deadpool one that would be pretty sweet, a comic interlude. Not to be confused with Gunpool. Right, there's a lady there's a lady Deadpool. At one of these at, at Comic Con Interlude. Nudge nudge wink wink say no Christmas more. This is uh <laughs> I don't know if it's still there actually. I haven't been in Comic Hopefully they're still filing. Um, anyway, because <laughs> I imagine I got some Gwen Pools waiting on me. Okay, I'm almost positive this is a pop figure. It does not have a sticker though, so I don't think it's gonna be that. Oh, it's a little beat up too, but whatever. Hopefully it's somebody cool. Is it somebody cool? Ah, oh, okay. Whew. Good. So you actually got the Chase version of? No, I got the Target exclusive. Okay. Uh, of Hella. So which I like better than this version, but I don't have this, and I did want it. So I'm down, dude. Nice. So we got the helmeted Hella. For those of you wondering, the target Hella is no helmet. She's just got her long hair. Yeah, it's and like, cool. And not like the kind of black top of the half head, so. Awesome, man. Pop figure, Jade of Metal, kick butt uh, graphic novel, a couple of awesome exclusive comics. Yeah, this was a really good one. And then you got a bonus hat and, and tote bag, you know, even though you can't tell what the crap is on the hat. It does say enough said in the box. Mm-hmm. Enough said! All right. Darkness Descends is the theme. I, yeah, okay. I can see that. I can see that. All right. Ooh, you could have got Venom. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm happier with Magneto than Venom. Yeah, I'll agree with that. Ooh, I would have rather gotten Loki, Agent of Asgard. Yeah, I might have preferred that one a little bit more. But I still think the Magneto one is awesome. You yeah. also could have got the Loki pop instead of the Hella 
mask. So I don't know. I'm 50-50 on those. I don't have either, so I would have been happy with either one. Uh, so it is a black cap, so it's supposed to be black. I mean, it's mm -hmm. like... Stand out in an understated way, this classic Stanley fr Stanley phrase, enough said. Yeah, I don't. I still don't get black Wait, on black. We but... didn't get the card. Yeah, I didn't see that in there. Huh. Yeah, where's our fun fact card, Stanley box? That I still think you should print different images on. Mm-hmm. All right, let's show off that card, baby. All right, so here's the front page. It's not in the tote bag. And see if we can get a close up on the text there. Pause if you need to. Oh, my bad. We got the card. Oh, did we get the card? Oh, yep. It was hiding in the comic thing. Oopsie. Let me just do this real quick. So, same art as always. Which is interesting because they have to print it differently. They have to print a different number. So it's not like they're saving money by not setting up the print. You know, so like, change the art on these each time. Recolor them something. Uh, how green was my goblin? <laughs> I think they make a shot for that. <laughs> so there's that. Okay, you can go back to showing off the card. I just, since I found it, I'm glad you, that's why I like these spoiler card things. So that would have gone in the trash. So how green was his goblin? <laughs> um, mean green. I don't know. After a few years of mystery, it finally came time to reveal the identity of Spidey's chief, chief adversary, the Green Goblin. I remember there was a disagreement between me and the artist over who should be behind the mask. Well, he thought it would be more true to life for the Goblin to be some random person we hadn't met yet, I believed over the course of the strip that we had been making the case for Norman Osborn to be the villain. Spoilers! <laughs> Dude, are, is that able to focus that close at all? Yeah, I think so, actually. You sure? Oh, well, to a certain degree. Awfully close to the lens there. Well, the thing is, it's having trouble. At least I can't tell if it's focusing on the yeah. tiny, tiny print or not. Yeah, I don't know. But there's all of that stuff. Yeah, there's, all, there's, it's, there's so much of it. There's a lot. If they want to read all of it, they have to buy the box. <laughs> All right, hopefully y'all can read that. Yep. <laughs> Again, it's tiny, tiny print. I'm trying to look at it, tiny, tiny screen. Yeah, um, so obviously we love Marvel. Sometimes we do Marvel nights on our Drunken Movie Night streams. Every other Friday, 7 yeah. p.m. Eastern, um, we do a, a live stream called Drunken Movie Night. We'll be drunk, you don't have to. I don't know when this video is coming out, so the next one will probably either be December 15th or December 29th. December 15th is a Merry Christmas special. December 29th is our Kathy New Year, and uh, we do sketches, tell a story, we play games, a quick blast where you can play with us. Uh, we watch some silly movies, and we chat with you guys. So come on by, hang out, say hi, and we'll have a fun time doing it. But yeah. guys, what did you think about this? I think this is a great improvement. It's back to being as good as it well, at least this box was back to being as good as some of the earlier boxes were. Um, so I'm very, very happy with the Stan Lee box and hopefully they will continue this direction with it. Okay. Um, and now that Walmart's doing all those exclusive Stan Lee cameo pops, they really ought to try and sneak one in here. I think yeah, that'd be that'd great. Be cool. um, but yeah, so let us know guys, what did you think? Which things did you get? Which uh, graphic novel, which medals, which pop? All that kind of stuff. Love to hear your thoughts and what you have to say. So comment away, let us know. Other than that, you can click that thumbs up button. You can give us that good old thumb of encouragement because we do love to be encouraged. All right, I guess we're going to get out of here. Go open up some more stuff, and we'll see you all later. Enough said. Enough said.